this how to video is how to put a door in. As long as the rough opening is right, the door should fit right in. And you just screw it in. I think they're called pre-hung. They already come inside the frame. You got this? Yeah. And then you just put them in the rough opening. And that's how you... And then just screw them in. This rough opening is 34 by... 82. The door says for a rough open 34 and a quarter, but the door only measures 30. 30. Uh, this one's the opening we have is 34. The door only measures 33 and a half. I don't know why they tell you you got to have 34 and a quarter. We'll find out if it'll work or not. Need a cordless drill, a hammer, a pry bar. You want these off a pry bar like this will come in handy to take the old door out. You want these off what is it? All right, now you got to turn it. Yeah. You're gonna have to pick it up from out there. Ready? All right. That's it. That's push it. Well, I'll put a level on it. To make sure it's level, but it should push all the way in. That fits perfect. Oh, you got. We'll have to put some shims in there. Push shims in these cracks. You can just use the little break off shims and then spray foam in it if you want. Caulk. Keep your cold air out. All this will be hidden by molding. Uh, the only thing is this a little level just to make sure it's pretty good make sure it's level you don't want the stick pass here and then uh, try to even it up a little bit it's got a bigger gap in the top but it don't matter it's uh that piece of wood won't fit up there. We'll get some, we'll make some wedges for it. Huh? Oh, you're all right for, just in case, yeah, hang out there. just to hold it can't put too many you put too many shims in it it uh, bows the door so the frame actually ain't bad break them down not too big Three on each side just to hold it. So you might need a, a flat head too. Nah. Yeah, I got it. It's just this little piece that holds the door locked. And then the door will open up. So that's it, man. That's perfect. That works good. Um, I'm going to put wedges behind here. All your hinge, all the hinges come with one screw missing and they recommend you put like a three inch wood screw in there. So it goes all the way into the wooden frame so people can't just kick your door in. You can replace them all with that but you should use at least three inches to anchor it in so it doesn't uh, What? Do you have them in here? I, I got some over there. Yeah, about a bit. So this is all tight to the, the frame goes in tight. It is what it is. It's it self centers itself up and all. 
Now all we gotta do is put a couple screws in it. Ah, oh, we can cut some of this off for shims. You need to put them right behind. The only thing that's weird is this side. I guess you just put this side in with the uh, Go out there and hold it. Yeah, because I gotta let me put a couple screws in it. Push it in tight and I'll push shims in it. I'll, and because I want to put the shims right where the thing is. Right where the hole. What hole is it now? The third one? Alright, let me get that out of Hold it in tight. That ain't enough. Oh, that ain't enough. Let me do it. Shift over to the side. Let's push it tight to one side and then I'll shim this side. So I'll push it tight to one side and shim the other. It's got a big gap there. Let me see how that opens and closes. Too much. Are you pushing on it? Huh? It's just sags, I guess, because it's not wedged in. I don't know. It's got to, it has to be level or it won't work. Is it pushed in tight? You got it pushed in? It's got to be, it, that's level right there. Hold that pushed in. And then I got to get a wedge in here. Once I get a wedge in it. I never put one in before, so <laughs> it's hanging up a little bit. Oh, I can probably, I think you tighten that up with screws to get rid of that. It'll push that back out. Let's get one screw in it to hold it where it needs to be. Get this top one in. Keep holding it tight. It works better too. You know that? I guess they're supposed to screw right through it. Oh, well, that looks like crap if you do. <laughs> I guess you can just that molding. You could hide it behind that molding. If you hold that back. Hold, hold, hold back on this. I'm going to hide a screw behind that movie. I ain't going to see. 
And um, I got these long screws put in there. Put these extra long screws in there, they're three inch. Wait, nobody, somebody tries to kick it in, they'll be trying to kick in the whole two by four. And they're not really gonna kick in the two by four. That's how easy it is to put the door in. I'll cut these, score them, and then break them off. That way they don't uh, mess up the wood. What? Get one, another wedge down here. This has got a little bit bigger gap. Probably put two in there. So the reason I'm doing this is because I went to Lowe's and I paid $35 for somebody to come out and measure my door. I was going to pay to have this done. It's like 250 bucks to install this door. You can see it's taken us like 15 minutes now. It took us a little longer to rip the old one out, but easily pried off. So the kid never showed up, never called, nothing. So I went to Lowe's, told him, give my money back, and I'll put the door in myself. So I got this door. It was a scratch and dent. It's a $250 door I got for $190 and put it in myself and saved another $250. Bucks. I mean, for the money I saved, $190, this would have been $500 at least the time I paid the guy to do it and everything else. So, save $300 bucks on myself. And I ain't waiting for some, some guy that doesn't care if he works or not, I guess. Use a lot of the old stuff off the old door to put this one in. Uh, just recycling some of these old parts. It's uh, you know, little pieces of wood for shims. And you're never going to see any of this. It's all going to be hid behind trim and everything else. And, you know, like that's perfect to put back here as a shim. I'll put a piece here. As a shim, easy enough. And uh, that's just a, like the wand, it's real easy to cut and break, but it'll beef this up a little bit where the screws are going to go through. So back air. I'm just going to make sure that door shuts with that in there. Perfect. There's plenty of room. Just break it off. It's easier. Easy peasy. Different knife today. This is a Ganzo Firebird. You get them on Amazon. Pretty cool knife. Got a carbon fiber handle. This is a Ganzo, G A N Z O. Good knives and they're really cheap. They don't cost much on Amazon. I'm going to put the long bolts through this too, just to make sure it's deep in the wall. You ain't got to worry about nobody kicking your security lock out.
I got one in a little floor. Got a little carried away. The door's in. That's that. Um, I do got a trim. I got to trim the shims. Break them off. Put my molding in. I got a little bit of, of a gap up here. Um, probably put a couple pieces of wood in there and screw it in up top too um, even though it probably doesn't need it I mean I don't know what's going to happen if you don't there's I could just shoot some caulk in there and put the molding in it and, and that should be fine I don't think I mean the door ain't going nowhere now I got two good four long boat uh, four long screws anchoring on this side three long screws anchoring on this side and the bottom I think it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hardware on, put the trim back on, and uh, that'll be that. I'll start it back up when I put the trip the hardware on. That way, if anybody's never done that, they'll see it. And I'll edit this video down to try to make it. It's gonna be pretty long. Right now, we're looking at like 20 minutes. Uh, I'll try to speed some of the stuff up, slow some of it down, to make it easier to follow. So you're not sitting here watching me ramble on about wedges and stuff. So I'll turn it back on when I'm. A little bit further along. I wanted to add this to the video. I got uh, clear silicone. I just happen to have it laying around, so I'm gonna use it. Um, but you got a pretty big gap, and if you don't fill it, you're gonna get air through there. So I'm gonna use this tube I got laying around and just put a bead of caulk in it. So this is the last, this piece of mold is just up here rough. Um, you gotta watch when you put it up. It's, if it's too low, it'll hit the door. I reused the old molding. I probably should have cheated that one up off the floor a little bit, but I didn't. Um, this one, I just gotta lift it up a hair. Keep it lined up back here. Get it up there to the corner of that one. If it's not perfect, I can put a little caulk in there. Hangers caulk before I paint it. Don't drive your screws all the way in. Or your nails, I'm sorry. Don't drive your nails all the way in. Because uh, if you do, when you when you hit the molding, you'll mess it all up. Um, get you, a, this is actually a center punch, but I'm using it as a nail set. Just uh, you drive it in, leave it out about a quarter inch. Take that, line it up with your finger, and uh, run it in. If you take it just below flush, you can take a little bit of spackle, drywall putty, and go like that before you paint them. And uh, then when you paint them, you, you'll never know where the nails are. Just below flush is all it takes. And then uh, I'll put more nails in it. I only put a few in just to hold it while I was getting the video ready. This is the actual key lock that was on the other door. I'll just put this on here just for the video. Um, just in case nobody's ever done it. It's pretty easy. Uh, these have different depth settings. When you stick it in, you'll know if it's the right one. Square part goes to the back. And this is actually the right setting for the door. Key part to the outside, obviously. Push it through. Come through there. Twist part lock on the back side. Get it on there. 
line it up and only go on one way. You'll get it. You'll know when it's right. I might not. There we go. And then uh, the best way to do these is with a hand screwdriver because you can actually make them too tight. Um, so if you hand screw them, you can uh, figure it out. I'll actually show you that it can be too tight. And then the door won't. I think that one missed. There we go. So here, that's ran in all the way. Both screws run in as tight as they'll go. And on some doors, this ain't one of them. Some doors that could be too much, and it won't, it won't, it won't, it won't come back. But there you go. That's it. That's locked. Um, I'll put the deadbolt in. The deadbolt goes in the same way. You got your key lock, locked, unlocked. That's good. I might, I'm gonna tighten this up a little more. That molding was a little, probably should have been trimmed, but it's fine. Here's that. Still works perfect. Doors locked. Catch is fine. There's all the molding. I'll put a little painter's caulk in that. I'm going to redo all this molding anyway. Quick set depot. Um, pretty cheap. 16 bucks. See, that part goes in the room. This part goes outside. I'm going to put it up here, uh, keys, we got their screws, um, oh yeah, I got to put those screws in there still, the two screws you got to use are the little ones, these little guys are what hold it into the door, and those, you need these two long, machine screws and this goes in the door this is this one goes in the frame and this one goes in the door so the one that's going in the frame we're going to use the long screws again it tells you up so that'll go in like that and it's set perfect these long ones are the machine ones that go in from the It's only going one way too. It's got a oval, somewhat oval. Um, oval piece, I guess you could say. Trapezoidal. Right like that. You go there, then you got this guy, same thing, it's got the little trapezoidal shape on the back, and you have to spin it until it comes around properly, which is horizontal, all these locks go together um, with the bolt holes horizontal, not vertical. And then the screws pass through the lock. Again, we'll go with a hand screwdriver. You don't want to run these in with a gun. Even though it's faster, you don't want to run them in there and strip them. One. That's that. Got these little uh, self tappers, little self tapping screws that hold this plate in, and you can run these in by hand. They should go right in the door. If they're a little too hard, 
it won't hurt to use a gun on these but there's one by hand I'll just finish them with this with the screw gun be quicker that and then for the one that goes in the door we're going to use drywall the long the long wood screws put the long wood screws in them to hold them in it's got looks like two slides but the side that's Slightly chamfered is the one for the screws to go in. And if you remember, I put wood behind that to catch. deadbolt perfect and lined up perfect done deadbolt lock everything works I got one one nail I forgot to set with the center points uh, good to go a couple more up there I didn't do and that's it um, Run that one over deeper. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's a door. That's easy enough. Um, you know, if I wasn't videoing, this would have been done a lot quicker. It says to get this. Uh, they have some type of spray on the windows for shipping. It kind of looks like it's. Uh, it looks dirty, but it's not. It's some kind of. Some kind of coating they use to ship it. It says put soap and water and use a razor blade to uh, get it off. Which, uh, yeah, it's cool. That works. That one works. Good to go. It's a whole door put in, and you know, it took me a little longer, like I said, because I was videoing. But I guess all together is probably like an hour job. Maybe an hour and a half by the time I put the old one out and put this one in. But uh, just got to clean it up a little bit. So it's almost a three hundred dollar door. Got it for one hundred ninety. It was two two fifty eight. It was on. I got it for one ninety, and I saved three hundred bucks by putting it in myself. So yeah, another do it yourself video. Uh, if you want to see more like this, just let me know. Or if you have something you want to see in particular, let me know, and I'll try to make it happen. Thanks for watching.